Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a house tour. Um, it's finally to a level where I'm happy enough to show everyone. It was a complete and utter mess, but I worked. Oh, excuse me. Um, I've worked a lot on it, and I'm happy enough to show you guys. Um, so it is like a beach cottagey feel on the outside. Um, when I once I got the shell uh, thing that goes on the on the door, I had to do it to match. So I have this little like white um, decking outside, and then like my bird bath and my dog house and just excuse Frank trying to get Frank out of the way. And then this is my front garden, so I have a little sitting area. Um, I eventually want this bit to be like with all the mushroom stuff, but I don't want to go that far into the future. I have my little pink garden and my little picnic area, which I think is so cute. Ignore that fossil there. Um, yeah, so I want this eventually to be like a little foresty thing, but for now this is what I want. And this is like my own secret like garden area. I wanted to have like a greenhouse with all plants and it is really cute. And this turned out like I'm really happy with the way it turned out with all the plants and everything. And then so let's get on with the actual house tour. So the first room is this cosy lounge area. Um, I wanted the colour scheme to be like browns and greens and just have like a very um, and just have a very like grand like greenhouse feel to it. So over here I have my crafting area with like some flowers and my star garland and my graduation hat because I graduated uh, a year ago now. Then I have this bamboo shelf that matches like the antique table. And I have like my bookshelf then I want like all the colours to match. Um, and then over here I have like a cosy sitting area with the TV and my bronze um, award that matches the colour scheme of this room. I just really like the look of this room and all the plants hanging up everywhere and I have that custom uh, painting that there as well so I like the idea that she sat and she painted that. And then so this is my kitchen area. Um, I wanted to have like a cottagey feel to it. Uh, my favourite colour is yellow so once I found this wallpaper I had to have it in my kitchen because I kept getting all the uh, the kitchen equipment that was yellow so it just seemed to match and fit. I wanted this room to be a little mismatch so I have like my yellow appliances but then I also have like the white table and the blue oven and it just seemed like it doesn't it fits together but it wasn't like cohesive I just wanted to have like a mix max feel to it a mis mismatch feel to it. Okay, so that is my kitchen, um, yeah. So if I go through here into the other side of the house, then you get to my bathroom. Again, with the yellow and like all the plants, you can see there's a little theme running through my house. I wanted this room to be very white, very like pristine, um, with bits of bamboo everywhere, like little stack of books in the corner. So this room does kind of match more compared to the kitchen. And I have my little silver pack up there and loads of plants in the toilet and the toilet that flushes is really funny. Um, I might move that coconut plant and just put it right above the toilet. I'm really annoyed that you can't sit in the bath. I also have like a little like bench here but I for some reason can't sit on it. I think it's because the flowers are above it. But yeah, this overall is my, my bathroom. I'm really happy with it. I didn't know what to do for bathrooms because... Like I wanted a bathroom in the house, but then you know you put a bath in the bath in the room, and then that's it. You call it a day. So hopefully this gives you some form of inspiration, and I think I prefer this light in the bathroom as well. So I'm just going to leave it at that. So if I go back here, this is a new addition to the house. I didn't really know what to do for this room because my my bedroom's upstairs, and then like what else can you have in a house? So I had. The idea to do an indoor outdoor space so this is kind of like another garden or like another 
just a outdoor space inside so I have all my like outdoor stuff with like a little bathtub and my like pear chair and then I have this rose bed too but I didn't have anywhere to put it in the house so I just thought I'd put it in here um, oh, going back on it again. Okay, didn't mean to do that. And then, so yeah, this is a new addition. I might change around this room, not gonna lie. It's not like 100% what I wanted, but it's still nice. But yep, so that's my indoor outdoor room. And then upstairs, if we go upstairs, this is like my pride and joy. So this is my bedroom. I got the stormy wallpaper from Sahara and I knew once I got it I just had to play around with like indoor outdoor spaces. So I have this bed here and my pet turtles bed. But if you go outside I wanted this like balcony area so it's literally just like... So I have like a hot tub and I have my chair and then I have my pet turtle over here and my picnic area. And if you guys want to ruin the illusion they're actually just the climbing walls. Um, I realised the climbing walls, they all have like a different colour scheme on the back of them, but the blue one has like a dark brown, which kind of matches the aesthetic I wanted. So this is more of a look of the stuff outside, or outside in the balcony area. And then, yeah, so this is my cosy bedroom upstairs, and I just think it's so cute. And I like, I like the idea that you can see the wallpaper behind the bed so it looks like it's like a glass window like a giant glass window and yeah this is just so cute and cozy and i just i just absolutely love it Okay, so we've got one more room left. Um, those who've seen my mermaid room uh, speed build thing, you guys would know what this room is. It hasn't changed at all since I did it. So this is like my mermaid sleepover room. I, I have since got the mermaid rug from Pascal, which I think I'm going to put where this like towel area thing is. I have also got some new shoes, which I just put on the wall, but um, I just absolutely love it and I just need more mermaid furniture in my life. So if anyone has any of the mermaid furniture that they want to give me, um, please send it my way because I'm just like in love with this collection. So there you guys go, that's my house tour. Um, I'm really happy with the way it turned out and it will never be done, I will still keep adding to it. But I'm just really pleased with the way it came out because it was an utter mess beforehand and I finally got it to a level where I just really like it. Yeah, thanks so much for watching guys and I will speak to you soon. Bye!